Hello everyone, welcome to the next review video. Before we jump into the review, let's first talk about why I chose these three kettles. Now I do know there's an abundant amount of kettles and some even designed for specifically brewing loose leaf tea, such as something like this. When I look at this, it's just awful. I don't know why you would brew a large amount of tea in the device you're boiling the water. So many things can go wrong. You can't control the subtle beauty and delicate components that a lot of loose leaf teas have to offer. Please don't ever make loose leaf tea in something like this. So back to these three. Why did I choose these three kettles? Now, I do know these are made for pour over coffee, but there's a lot of similar components that loose leaf tea also needs. One, I wanted to make sure they all had a gooseneck spout that would be able to control the pouring when I'm brewing the tea. Second, I needed to have a variable temperature component so I can see what temperature, because some teas are very, very sensitive. So I want to learn about the temperature when brewing tea. Also, I wanted to make sure these kettles were one liter or under. I personally do not like a larger kettle because when I'm boiling water, I will often add in fresh water to keep the water alive. I don't like to empty the kettle and then refill. I'm also usually brewing something like a gaiwan or a teapot, and those are usually less than 200 milliliters. So I don't need a lot of water, and it just makes that kettle a little bit lighter and easier to use. And the last thing I looked for was I wanted to make sure it was a reliable, trustworthy, and well-established brand. If I'm going to be buying a product that I'm going to be using daily, especially to boil water, I want to make sure the raw material is made of good quality and it's pleasantly designed. So I chose these three brands. Now, Bonavina has been around a very long time. Oxo has been in the kitchen for a long time. And Fellow is a little bit newer, but they have done a great job at establishing their brand. Also, the Bonavita is a more affordable price point. The Oxo is a medium price price point. And then the Fellow Stag, is probably what I would consider a more premium price point. So what are the differences between these kettles? How do they stack up? And ultimately, what's the best for brewing loose leaf tea? Well, let's go ahead and jump into that and find out for ourselves. First up, we have a long-loved fan favorite, the Bonavita. One reason is just because it's been around so long. It was one of the first consumer kettles to hit the market that was a variable temperature, and it's really stand the test of time. But since then, there's been a number of companies that have adapted upon the design and improved upon a lot of features. Next up is the Fellow Stag EKG kettle. Now this is a very unique color that I got that was limited edition because I wanted this maple wood handle. This kettle does come in a variety of colors from black, silver, and copper and different handle types as well. So do keep that in mind. But overall, the features will be similar to those kettles. Then we have the Oxo Brew Pour Over Kettle. This is both of these kettles came out in 2017, so these are the newer ones. This has a unique silicone hander. Both of these kettles are one liter. The stag is 0.9 liter. And so I did a number of tests on pour, design, how fast they boil, to see how they kind of hold up against each other. So let's go ahead and get into the smaller minute details. If we focus on the Bonavita, you'll notice this handle is a plastic design as well as the lid lip. If we look at the lid, it is a little bit on the smaller spout area. This lid is not insulated, so it's just a single wall lid, so this can get quite hot, so keep that in mind. Also, the base of the Bonavita does have a protective plastic cover. That may not be so useful to everyone, but it's nice to kind of keep this clean and intact. Another thing to note is the Bonavita has a cord storage on the bottom, which the stag does not. The Oxo 
brew kettle also has a cord storage. But if I had to compare the OXO and the Bonavita, you will find that the Bonavita's cord storage is often very difficult to use and can be a little bit frustrating, though it does have it. Also on the Bonavita, it's a very simplistic, minimalist design. It doesn't have a lot of features. It has an on-off switch. You can switch it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And there's also a hold temperature. But this is not an auto hold function, which the Stag and the OXO both have an auto hold function. The Bonavita also has a unique spout. This can pour quite well, and you can pour from a slower pour to a faster pour. I don't feel the spout is designed as well as the Stag or the OXO, but it is nice to have some range of going from slow pour to faster pour. Also, you can see inside the Bonavita, you can see a large plastic piece that comes from the handle, which can be less than desirable for some people to have that much plastic exposed to the water you're boiling before you're gonna put it into your beverage. It's especially important when brewing subtle loose leaf teas. If we move on to the fellow Stag EKG kettle, this is a kettle that I've started to like more and more the more I use it. The wood grip is actually very, very comfortable. Some of the more plastic or other types of materials can get a little uncomfortable in the hand, but when you hold the wood, it does have a nice feeling that's comfortable in the hand. Also take note, the Stag EKG does have a counterbalance built in inside the handle, which can kind of help distribute the weight when pouring, which makes it overall more comfortable. The spout, you are unable to pour the Stag EKG very fast like the OXO or the Bonavita. So if your goal is to get a very fast and quick pour, the Stag EKG does not do that, but it does do a very good job at controlling the speed of the pour because it's so limited. If we take a look at the lid of the Stag EKG, it is one of the only ones I've seen that actually does have an insulated lid, meaning that it does not get as hot when picking this up. Also, the wood does a fantastic job at help distribute the heat so it doesn't get too hot when pouring it off. Also, another note here is the Stag EKG has a very smooth put on and take off of the lid. Inside, there are no plastic components, which I like, and they do certify listed on the box that it is a stainless 304 stainless steel. The dialing system, I think it's the most intuitive and comfortable design to use out of the three. The analog clock clicks very precisely. It's very intuitive by the fact that I can click this on and off. And if I want to use the timer, I simply hold down the button and then if I want to stop, I do the same. If I want to switch Celsius and hold, I can go to the back of the kettle and I can see the Celsius and Fahrenheit switch and the hold switch, which I think was a really fantastic idea because it takes out trying to integrate all of those components into a single button, which brings us over to the OXA brew, which they did indeed try to interpret all of those components into a single button, which I found it to be a little difficult when using. Though this interface does have more options than something like Bonavita, now this one is quite a beast. This is a 1500 watt kettle. It boils very fast, faster than the other two. It also does have a larger opening, so it's easier to put in and take out water. It does not have an insulated lid and it has no plastic components. Though, if you want to get very picky, you can notice two small plastic components in the lid that's from the silicone grip. Now, this grip on the side is made of silicone, which actually is quite comfortable, more comfortable than the Bonavita. And the lid, as well, is also made from that silicone material. Now, this doesn't have a counterbalance, but it is much more comfortable to hold, um, but it is a little bit of a heavier kettle. And if you take note of the spout, this has a very nicely designed spout. You can go from very slow to very fast. Another really cool feature is that this has a, almost a cheat sheet 
after you lift up the kettle, which will give you a number of temperatures you can use for coffee or tea, as well as how you can access that timer function, which I actually had to refer to because I did not find this interface as intuitive. I don't think it's as precise and defined as the STAG EKG um, analog clock, but this does work nonetheless. I feel it's a little bit slow and it's a little bit confusing. And if you wanna access the timer feature, which I had a lot of trouble doing, you have to wait for this kettle to reach the desired temperature and then go into warm mode. And only during that period, you can access the timer mode. With the STAG EKG, you can access the timer at any point. You don't have to wait for the temperature or a certain mode to be on in order to access that. So that's just one more thing I liked about this is it separated the Celsius and hold components. So it made this analog clock more useful and intuitive. Another thing we can look at is how fast these do boil. Now, obviously the wattage usage will have a big indication of how fast a particular kettle will boil. The Bonavita has a thousand watts, and this roughly took a little over six minutes to reach full boil at 100 degrees Celsius. The Stag EKG has a 1200 watt, and it took about five minutes and 45 seconds to reach 100 degrees Celsius boil. Though I do have to mention that around the five minute mark, it was at 98 degrees Celsius, and it had a very difficult time going from 98, 99 to 100, and that just might be because it's trying to control the temperature or hold that temperature, I'm not sure, but it boiled quite fast. It wasn't until the last few degrees did it take so long. So it took a lot longer than I thought but faster than the Bonavita. The Oxa Brew, of course, boiled the fastest at 1500 watts. It boiled at four minutes and 20 seconds. Also do keep in mind, I used 0.9 liters of water for all kettles from room temperature to 100 degrees Celsius because this is a slightly smaller kettle. And one other thing that not everyone may care about, but when you start to spend this kind of money on a kettle, especially over $100, you might want to take into consideration. And that is how loud each kettle is. So what I did was I hooked up a decimal reader to each kettle, the duration of the boiling cycle. The Bonavita averaged about 62.5 decimals with a peak of 66.3. The Stag averaged about 61.5 decimals with a peak of 67.7. The Oxo was the loudest averaging out 65.5 with a peak of 70.5. We'll test the Bonavita in action. I'm just gonna use this to preheat my teaware and then brew tea. So we'll see how this spout holds up when pouring. I do like how you can pour slower and faster, though sometimes that water can come out too fast if you're not careful. So now we can move over to the next kettle. Alrighty, so now we can test out the Fellow Stag EKG kettle. It does have an option to buy some of the kettles with wood. I personally like a lot of wood in my teaware, so I do like this design, feel, and minimalistic modern look, though it may not be for everyone. Also keep in mind, it does have that higher price point. There's also a maintenance concern. This will require more maintenance when using oil on the wood than the other two kettles as well. When it does pour, I do like the controlled pour, and I personally like that it doesn't allow you to go too fast. It keeps it at a slow pour, so you can't accidentally pour too much water or too fast when brewing tea. So now we can move over to the last and final kettle. On this last kettle, when you do turn it on, it prompts you right away if you want to adjust the temperature, and then asks you to confirm it, so that it's just one additional step um, when turning on the kettle. Alrighty, let's test out the Oxo Brew pour over kettle when using with tea. Do keep in mind there is a beep when the water is ready. So some of you that do prefer or not prefer sounds, so preheat the teaware. I have to say I really like this spout. I don't know what about it. This gives it a more pristine control over it. You also will see it shaped a lot different than the other two spouts. I just really like how this pours. So let's go ahead and move on to my final concluding thoughts. They all kind of have their pros and cons, and also there's price point to consider. 
We'll start with the Bonavita. This is a kettle that's been around forever. I've used it for years and years and years, but I feel like its outdated design has never been updated or changed at all. It still has a plastic handle and lid. There's a strange kind of brushed stainless steel. It doesn't match the interior stainless steel. And there's a large plastic component, which I don't really care for nowadays. Also, the base is just very plasticky and it feels a little cheap. Though that being said, it does cover all the essentials. And you can usually find this kettle for under $60, sometimes even $50. So keep an eye on, out for that. So for some of you, a very affordable, variable temperature kettle, this is your option. But if you want to spend a little bit more money and get something that's going to be really comfortable and enjoyable to use, and you don't want plastic in your kettle, the Bonavita may no longer stand the test of time. It really boiled down to these two kettles, and they both have good and bad components. We'll go to the OXO just because it's in the medium price range. Now this is listed at 100, though sometimes you can find it a little bit below $100, and this kettle is designed and made much better than the Bonavita. It's just built better. It's easier to hold in your hand. It pours nicer. It has a large opening. There's no strange big plastic component in the kettle. It boils ridiculously fast, but also because it's pulling 1500 watts, you might need to be careful you don't have two things plugged into the same socket because you might blow a fuse, but it does boil really fast. The one thing that just really bugged me about this kettle was this interface. At first, I liked the design. It was beautiful and simple, but they tried to put too much in this single button component. You have the turning of the dial, which is kind of sluggish, and you don't really hear that click sound every time you click it, but sometimes you do. And they do a hold function, a timer function, and essentially a Fahrenheit Celsius function all in the same button. And I found myself constantly referring to this kind of cheat sheet underneath the kettle to get it to work. That really bugged me. But besides that, the kettle in the hole works a lot better and is made really well. I almost enjoyed pulling from the OXO more than I did the fellow stack. So with all that being said, I think this is a good buy if you can find it under the $100 list price. If you can find it on sale around $80, $85, I think this is a really good buy. Above that, I just think there's just some things that need to be worked out in this kind of control panel. Next is the Fellow Stag. This is far more premium. For this premium one with the wood, it's $169. The regular model is $149. That's still a lot of money for a kettle especially if you're just going to be using it for tea. Now, I'm a little bit more of a crazy tea enthusiast, and maybe I spend too much money on tea and teaware, and I really, really care about the attention to detail. And I'd rather have something like this beautiful design with wood next to my tea table than something that almost looks like it belongs in the kitchen. So me, personally, I like the design and function of the fellow, and this click dial just really won me over. The simplicity and design and the thought that went into attention to detail, I will be keeping the fellow stag kettle, though this one I think is a really good runner-up. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you want to have different topics or reviews come up, please list them in the comments below. And if you found this helpful, go ahead, like, and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks so much.